This is in no way, shape or form a sponsored video. So we're off to a good start if that's the case. If you do like content like this, make sure that you subscribe, you hit the notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out. <laughs> Hey team, welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hayden. It is a Monday, therefore it is time for another review. However, we've got something a little different today. It's something that I haven't typically done regularly or, or very much of, if at all, on my channel and that's decor. So we have looked at Timu's clothes before, which is a usual shtick of mine if you're brand new here. I typically dabble in men's skincare and men's clothing, all of which are affordable. So, you know, I took myself over to Timu, did a little browse through their shopping app and I happened upon the decor area. And I thought to myself, why not? This is in no way shape or form a sponsored video they have reached out multiple times to collaborate to pay me but I have not accepted that offer I want my review first impressions to be based on my own experience we're gonna dive right in I paid for everything out of my own money and I'm actually surprised at the how fast the items were delivered I got this giant package right here there's 11 items that I ordered between purchase and delivery. It took just under two weeks, which is kind of unheard of for Timu. If I remember correctly, the previous uh, Timu dedicated video of clothing, it was over two weeks. I could be wrong. The items we are looking at today, and I will make sure I do the conversions down the bottom. Some of these items don't actually have standard names. So I'm just gonna explain what it is and I'll put the insert around somewhere so you know what I'm talking about. The first item is a toilet roll holder. And that's because the one that we installed on the wall is a floating one after we've done renovations, it keeps falling off. It will not stay put and it keeps ripping some of the plaster off. So I have to putty it up and do all of that. So I'm not gonna do that anymore. I was on the hunt for a standalone toilet roll holder and Timu had it. And that cost 29.24 Australian dollars. We are also looking at a tissue box holder, which from the product picture looks like it's got a bamboo top lid. That was $9.89. We've got a shoe rack. And this is particularly because Adam does a lot of gardening. And one of these days I will do a update on what the garden looks like now because it is vastly different to what it looked like five years ago. And every time he does the gardening, he has to leave his shoes just sitting out. So I thought, why not get a shoe rack? And that way they're kept off the ground so creepy crawlers don't make a home in them. We have a desk organizer that I am going to be utilizing over here. Now that Adam has started working from home with his new role in payroll, we have to share this desk. Now I do have a desk organizer under the monitor. However, with two people here, it does tend to get cluttered and I'm not a fan of that. And that was $9.85. We have a keyboard cleaner. I don't know about you, but my keyboard always gets fur in it. Cat fur and dog fur. It's like they walk into a room, they explode and it just magnetizes into the keyboard. That was $2.42. A desk calendar, a mini desk calendar, which is always comes in handy. That was $2.42. A silicone around the tap drain thing that you put on the sink to hold your sponges and all of that. I do have a situation over there that I have temporarily put, not installed, it's not fixed to the sink, but it does tend to collect water and it gets all sludgy. So we want that to go. That was $7.27. We have silicone resealable bags. Adam goes through a lot of sandwich bags when he's making smoothies, freezing bananas that are too brown, you know, that kind of a thing. And they just accumulate in the freezer. Rather than do that and purchase non-reusable plastic, let's just do the eco thing. That was $5.19. We have a fruit holder that has a banana holder in it. That was $19.75. That was probably one of the more expensive items. And then the last two items, the first one, which was $11.24, a lunch box with cutlery chopsticks. And it looks like it's made from wood or bamboo. And then the very last thing I have been waiting since I purchased this house in 2015 to get wind chimes. So these are bamboo wind chimes and they were $15.48. Here we have the giant package. The moment I just picked that up next to my head, I heard something, it sounds like it's broken. So we're off to a good start if that's the case. First thing I see 
is the tissue box holder. I'm not a giant fan of knickknacks. So this is the extent of what I have on my shelves. And even my computer desk, I like to keep it clear. I'm not a fan of clutter, but if I do get stuff, I want them to be functional. So this, it's actual wood. And just lifting it up then, you can see it's broken. Thank you, shipping from Timu. This is what it looks like. I mean, obviously the bottom of it, you won't see, but that's not the point. The point is it's brand new, it shouldn't be broken. Things happen. You can hear that's actual wood. The plastic feels good. It feels sturdy, even though it wasn't that sturdy. Um, it's like a solid, but it's a mat and it's not flimsy. Let's put some tissues in here. I think you get the gist of it. Obviously this box of tissues that we have in the house is the jumbo box. So it's taller than your standard size, but I like it. From what I can see, the silicone bags. I don't believe there's more than this one bag. Pretty certain it said that there was supposed to be six that came with the purchase. Doesn't actually say. Yeah, they feel feel quite nice. They don't feel, actually funnily enough, they don't feel super cheap. It feels legit like silicone for that money. I mean, it wasn't a lot of money, but we get three reusable, resealable bags, a larger one, a medium and a small. And they are deceptively bigger than you would expect because the bottoms of them expand and you can hear Myrtle coming over to investigate. She's been sleeping this whole time. These definitely will come in handy. I have no idea what this one is. It's got a bit of weight to it. Maybe that's what I could hear. Toilet roll holder, something that requires some construction. Let's quickly put this together and see how it looks. I mean, it's a toilet roll holder, it's not supposed to be super complicated and involved, but I am impressed. I think that would do quite nicely until we update the toilet area. Moving along, this is the shoe rack, which will require some more construction, right? I mean, it is looking rather flimsy and cheap, so we'll just have to see. Comes with the instructions. There's only three steps to it. I'll be right back. These do not just fit straight in. You really gotta use some force. That took much longer than I anticipated. Much, much longer. 35 minutes later and we have it constructed. It is very flimsy and good Lord, it was super fiddly to try to get the metal things into the holes because they did not measure up. But we've got it. Let's put it in use. Not too shabby. Next item off the rank. Now we're going to go for the bigger box. No idea what this is. I actually, I think it's the fruit basket. As we can see, we have some more construction to do. And this actually feels like solid metal. It, do it doesn't feel like that real flimsy aluminium type of a vibe. Let's put it together. Here we have it. It's actually taller than what I was expecting, but I do think that this will come in good use because our current situation, everything's just kind of lumped in together and we can repurpose that brown bowl for something else. Luckily, we've got quite a bit of fruit and vegetables waiting to put in this. Okay, not too shabby. Once again, it is much taller than I expected it to be. I'm quite pleased with it. Let's look at the next item. Things how we were just in the kitchen. We have the silicone drain rack thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Here we have it. It feels just like this is reusable bag, silicone-y. Um, it doesn't feel super flimsy, even though it looks flimsy, but it is like rubbery. It's thick and I'm pretty certain that's going to be quite durable. Let me show you the current situation and We'll put this in use. This is currently what our setup is. As you can see, this does tend to collect water and it does go gross. So hopefully that silicone thing will sit here and we'll be able to put stuff directly and then it'll drain down the drain. Okay, this one's a flop. It's definitely not designed for the older sinks that's got the sloped bevel. As you can see, it is quite a bit wider than the actual lip of the sink. So I think I'm gonna pass on that and we'll go back to the old system for now. Next item, desk organizer. Cause it's quite solid and I can kind of hear like drawers rattling. I have actually got an organizer from Timu before, over a year ago, maybe a year and a half. To this day, it's still in use. It's in the bathroom holding all the skincare. So this does look like it's the desk organizer. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. We got compartments for pens, two drawers, cause, and that's go actually going to come in handy. And I'll show you my setup. This is my current setup. 
Now, don't mind the mess. Obviously, I'm filming and I need places to put stuff. So this will potentially come in handy to sit up there and replace all of that. Okay, now that I've got it out of its plastic coating, it's not groundbreaking. It is on the flimsier side, but if it's just gonna hold pens and stationary items, then it doesn't need to be anything super advanced. Let's put it to use. It fits perfectly. I think we have a winner. That looks so much cleaner than what I did before. Tiny, tiny little desk calendar. So we just fold it out. It'll sit on the desk like so. This I will use every day, and that's because I currently use the hanging one in the kitchen just to track what week the bins go out. This will come in head. I think it's a good fit. Second last, I'm gonna leave the wind chime to last because that's what I've been most excited about. I have actually purchased lunch boxes before for Adam, but this time around, this is for me. Taking it out, now I did get it in green as it comes out of the packaging. It doesn't feel super flimsy plastic, kind of kids toy plastic. What you get in here is you open the top, there are chopsticks, a knife, a spoon, and a fork. There are four latches all the way around. We've got three compartments on the inside. Kind of like that. I, sometimes I don't like when I take food to work and you have to pile it all in together. So all the fruit, if you've got a sandwich, has to go in a bag, you know, that kind of thing. So this would cut down on plastic and keep things separated. I completely forgot about the keyboard cleaner. You actually get multiple ones in here. I wasn't aware of that. For the $2 something that you pay, you get one, two, three, four, five of them. Let's put this to use. The time has come, keyboard. You'll see how much cat fur is in here. You can already see it. And I cleaned this on the weekend, just gone last weekend. You can see the cat fur. You can see where it's all come off. This may be my new best friend. Which leaves the one thing I've been waiting for, and that's the wind chimes. Here we have them right here. Sounds like bamboo. Holding it in my hand, it's definitely plastic. Bring it out of our wrapping paper. Luckily, this one I do not need to construct. Let's put it to use. Of course, when I put it up, there's no wind. You know, I would have to say 90% of all of the decor stuff that I got, I am actually pretty happy with. I keep in mind, I only picked up things that were functional that aren't just going to sit there and collect dust. So we may be onto something here because in my experience, the clothing from Timu is not that good. I will link everything down below if you want to check it out for yourself. And as always team, Thanks for watching. Make sure we do the fun stuff, but most importantly, stay tuned.